que vende como no sé ¿Cómo dice ahí?
I would just like to say a few words on behalf of my wife and son, my son. Oh! <laughs> it has taken both of us quite a few years to arrive at this occasion, but I think it has been well worth it. Yeah. As most of you are aware, I met Diana on the Oriana cruise ship. Diana happened to be on the next table to you and myself in the restaurant. And there are three ladies here today who have made this occasion possible. I'm not sure where they are now. Marina, uh, Verona and Frontman who introduced us as, as they were on the same table as Diana. Thank you ladies. <laughs> <laughs> However, we are sorry as a family that father is not here today as he would have liked very much to have been here. There is one consolation, my father had met Diana and he had known her for about a year. Also we are sorry that Diana's parents are not here as well. I would also like to thank Tom, Sarah and Andrew and their families for the welcome I received at their homes. We would like also to thank you for being our best man. <laughs> so hard to get hold of on dry land. <laughs> <laughs> also thank to Dominic, Matthew and Duncan for being ushers and doing their work admirably and also Heather for being bridesmaid. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith and staff of the Park and for putting on the feast for us here today. Yeah. Also, a special thank for Sue Gossip, um, I'm not sure where she is here now, for baking and preparing the cake. Yeah. Yeah. And thank also for everyone for all the greetings and gifts we have received. And, um, and, uh, oh yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now I would, we would like to give a okay for mother. I am 
sure Jan is very grateful. They got the honor to the altar on time. <laughs> Late. <laughs> I'm sure you all of it that she, this has turned out to be a very nice wedding celebration. Yeah. 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 Yet, every silver lining does have a cloud. <laughs> and that is that you've got to listen to me unfortunately. <laughs> I would myself like to say Diana looks very smart indeed today, Diana. <laughs> Actually, it's an honor to be asked to be the best man, as well as terrifying. <laughs> but Yayan promises me that if I do a good job of it this time, I can be the best man at his next wedding. <laughs> where 
we have been mixed up. <laughs> one, uh, I remember many years ago, one particular instant was when I had been away five months on a ship called the Oronse, and we had come back to Southampton. And uh, Yayan came down to uh, see me there, and um, he was wandering around the accommodation. <laughs> And he, he bumped into this grumpy chief engineer <laughs> and asked him where the toilet was. <laughs> this chief engineer turned around and says, Don't you know by now? <laughs> words to that effect. <laughs> 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 um, I remember this one as well. Mr. and Mrs. Davies, who were they here today or not? We're traveling down we're traveling down the M4 now in their Audi car <laughs> at a rapid speed when a, a speed patrol from the David uh, and Powys Constabulary put on the siren and asked them to pull over. The officer said to Mr. Davies, can I see your license and insurance certificate? Mr. Davies replied, why? I wasn't doing anything wrong. The policeman replied, Sir, I caught you speeding. You were doing 85 miles an hour on the radar, but the speed limit here is only 70 miles an hour. Mr. Davies now goes berserk and says, I'm the JP and everything, a law-abiding citizen, and I wasn't speeding. You should be out catching criminals instead of, of giving me a ticket. Well, the policeman was trying to reason with Mr. Davies. And Mrs. Davies leans over and says, <laughs> You will have to excuse my husband. He's always like this when he's been drinking. <laughs> Having been brought up in a, in a teetotal environment, <laughs> having, a, having a few drinks on a Saturday night was very hard to explain to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> One instance of this was a particular boxing day after following the hounds. <laughs> the had to go home and do the milking. <laughs> well, one particular cow was milked three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to remember another incident. Yes, another incident was many years ago. It was um, during, the, um, during the Prince of Wales investiture when the television crew were at Pym Sight uh, filming and interviewing people of their opinions about the Prince of Wales investiture. Yeah, I was very young then, but <laughs> the filming was done inside the drawers, uh, the Dolek of the hotel, main bar. And who was shown on television drinking by the bar? And then the first customer asks, 
And what school did you go to in Aberystwyth? Why I went to the University of Wales in Aberystwyth? It can't be, says the second uh, customer. I went to the uh, University of Wales in Aberystwyth. Let's have a drink to uh, the University of Wales in Aberystwyth. And so they did. Then the first customer asked, oh, what year did you graduate from Aberystwyth? Well, I graduated in 1964, says the second customer. Well, it can't be. Let's have a drink to that. I graduated in 1964, so I had a few glasses again to that. Well, another customer walks into the bar and goes to the bartender. What's up, Mike? He says. Oh, nothing unusual, says the bartender. The Jones twins are drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the family, it is my pleasure to welcome Diana into our midst as Yeyan's wife, something which I wasn't sure until a few years ago I would ever have the honour of doing. <laughs> Whilst very few of us in the family have married young, most of us being in our thirties before taking the plunge, we have had to wait longer than usual with Yeyan. <laughs> Bod yna limryg yn gwrdd cystadleol cwb traed yn y ddenol yn dweud hyn. Aeth bachgen o ddo cwb dy cadno i chwilio am rai i gydod ato. I'n cystal ai fam, a dyna pa ham bydd ieian am sbel eto'n chwilio. <laughs> the reason that ieian has taken so long to find a wife is that he couldn't find a woman who was a patch on his mother. <laughs> And speaking of Auntie Nancy, on behalf of the family, I am very pleased to see how well she has recovered from her recent operation. Yeah. I would like to meet her. Richard, Bia, and 
However, after 50 years, Yeyan has finally managed to find a woman who matches up to his mother. And we think that he has made a good choice. We have all got to know and like Diana over the past few years. She has made an effort to fit in and get to know all of us. And we have been impressed by the steady support and help and companionship which she has given at all times to the family and particularly to Auntie Nancy and Yeyan during what have been sad and difficult times. We are also glad that she had the opportunity to get to know Uncle Sam and that like the rest of us <coughs> that she has happy memories of him. Diana is of course aware that she is not marrying just an ordinary Welsh farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeyan has always been that bit different. <laughs> To begin with, he is one of a set of twins, the only set of twins in Kutukadno, whose birth caused quite a stir 50 years ago. He has always been a trendsetter. <laughs> the first in Kutukadno to have a personalised number plate. <laughs> <laughs> He's also the technological king of North Kutakadno. <laughs> he would be the technical, technological king of the whole of Kutakadno were it not for Hugh Kandre. <laughs> when you enter to Indiriot, you do not enter just a traditional Welsh farmhouse, but a techno village. <laughs> email and internet and a mobile phone <laughs> the mobile phone is of course required so that as a parish councillor his electors can get hold of him at any time <laughs> Yeyan is of course also different in the way he met his wife to be which was different to that of most married couples here today <laughs> some meet while they are still at school and others are young farmers. Some meet at work and fall in love. Some sing in their same choirs. <laughs> but Yeyan met his bride-to-be while cruising on the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Some take their girlfriends for a meal or to a fancy club. And others just don't bother much. They just go down the pub. <laughs> but oh, how lucky was Diana being wooed on board the Oriana. <laughs> And for those farmers left in court, and yet to find a wife, forget the sales and marts and all, and go and get a life. With the next subsidy check, go and book a cruise with the <laughs> 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 Among the family, there is only one cousin now left. <laughs> another 10 years. <laughs> However, on the occasion of his 40th birthday, very shortly, we have decided to follow Yeyan's advice to an extent, and we have booked him therefore on a boat trip round Cardigan Bay. <laughs> Many years of happy married life. Dear <laughs> <laughs>